guys, so the wait is finally over. We're talking some House of the Dragon on the channel. Very excited for this prequel to Game of Thrones, set 172 years before the birth of Daenerys Targaryen. But this show does have some big shoes to fill because Game of Thrones was such an epic show. But at the same time, the series ended in such a way that it angered a large portion of the fan base, and we really haven't talked a lot about Game of Thrones ever since. So the hope is to bring in new fans, of course, while also bringing back a lot of those people that kind of swore off the franchise as a whole. And I think with the very first episode of House of the Dragon, I really feel like we're on the right track here. It's a very solid pilot, evoking the feelings I had watching early Game of Thrones. After one episode, I can tell this is probably going to be a slow burn kind of story, but it gave me all the things that I loved about Game of Thrones. For starters, I think the world building here already is superb. The atmosphere is gorgeous. And also just the compelling conflicts all around amongst all these different characters. All these different dynamics are being put in place here, along with some great cast of characters. I like a lot of the characters in this show already, even if this is a prequel, so we kind of have an idea of where we're going to end up. But the journey to get to that point, I think, is the more intriguing aspect to this prequel. Plus, like one of the big selling points of the show, there are lots and lots of dragons in House of the Dragon. I know, shocker there with a title like that and it being about the Targaryens. But they do deliver on that. Even in this first episode, they look great. It's very fun to see all these different types of dragons in action. And I have a feeling that they're going to get better and better as the episodes progress. It's just much like how in Game of Thrones, I gotta do my best to not get attached to any of the dragons or many of the characters in the show, really, because we know in a blink of an eye they could be killed off and I'll just be sad like I was watching Game of Thrones with Larry over on his channel. Like at this point, the violence in the show doesn't really shock me all that much, but it does feel very in line with Game of Thrones, even in the very first episode, seeing dicks chopped off and hands chopped off. So we're back in form when it comes to the brutal violence of the show. Since House of the Dragon is a prequel to Game of Thrones, it kind of is hard to have big surprises or gain a lot of momentum just because you have an idea no matter what where we're going to go by the end just because we watched Game of Thrones we know what happens with Daenerys but even still just kind of putting that out of my mind it was really easy to get sucked back into the world of Westeros I mean, there is definitely a lot of info to take in just within this very first episode of the show, setting up all these various different conflicts and this wide variety of characters, but that wasn't really something that bothered me about the show because I've just become so accustomed to all that stuff in Game of Thrones. I think a lot of people that follow this universe are going to be fine too. Now, I do want to talk about this cast of characters a little bit because there are a lot of characters that I'm excited to just see follow through the rest of the season, and I mean, there's only one episode, so there's not like a whole lot of stuff to talk about or based upon my opinions, but out of the cast of characters, the ones I'm most excited to follow. The biggest one for me out of the first episode is Rhaenyra Targaryen. Such a mysterious character who has a lot of weight to carry with her fractured dynasty. And all of her scenes with Alice and Hightower I thought were great due to their fantastic chemistry with one another. And I'm really excited and invested into seeing the relationship grow over the course of the season, their friendship, because I imagine we're going to get a lot of them because they are kids in this. And we do know that Olivia Cook and Emma D'Arcy are actually the actors that play them as adults. So we're going to see them at some point, I imagine, in the near future. In case anyone wasn't aware, I used to be a massive Doctor Who fan, so you can imagine my excitement when Matt Smith was going to be attached to this series. And he is a character, Prince Daemon Targaryen, I feel like you're supposed to like to hate, at least in this first episode. I mean, he makes a great impression, as Matt Smith always does. He is such an extremely cunning character that I'm excited to just see more of as the season progresses. And kind of sort of the same for King Viserys. I mean, he's not the greatest king by any means in this first episode, but he is very savvy, and that's what has me at least invested in what we're going to see with him for the rest of the show. All the different houses in the show, Targaryen, Hightower, Valerian, all of them, I'm really intrigued to just see how we build upon the angle for power here in this series because it seems like we are kind of taking a different approach here to that than in Game of Thrones because the Seven Kingdoms in the show, at least at this point in time, they're at peace. So I do hope that fans stick around because it does seem like we are building up these things quite slowly to these bigger conflicts down the road because the momentum exactly isn't going quickly, but all of that intrigue is still there that makes me want to continue watching for the rest of the season. And I think that these next couple episodes in particular are going to be very exciting to watch Unravel. So yeah, I think it was a solid opening episode for the series, a very solid pilot episode. I'm excited to just see how the rest of the season transpires. But now you've heard my thoughts on this first episode of House of the Dragon. Make sure you share your thoughts down below. What do you think of this episode? Do you like the episode? Dislike the episode? Are you back on the hype train for Game of Thrones after this episode? Because I think that I am at the very least. Either way, share all your thoughts down below. It's for the fun to have a conversation with you guys in the comment section. Also, I do do reactions for Game of Thrones over on Chili Boy Productions. I'll leave a link in that in the description if you want to watch me react to all of Game of Thrones. 
Thrones. It's a lot of fun over there talking about Game of Thrones with him. So make sure you share your thoughts down below. Like I said, check that out if you're interested in more Game of Thrones content from me. And also leave a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel so you're up to date reviews, reactions, unboxings, and more. Next time, see you guys later.